Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Got something kind of unique for the channel today. You know, as general aviation pilots in the United States, we have access to over 15,000 airports. That's right, 15,000, which pretty much lets us get in our airplanes and travel anywhere we want to in the United States. But there's one issue that we all face is what do we do when we get to the airport? How do we get to our final destination? Sometimes we can get rental cars, but at smaller airports, we have to rely on courtesy cars, or if there are no courtesy cars, we have to bring our own transportation. And that brings us to the topic of today's video. Today, we're gonna to be testing out the Hopsco Xander Max electric scooter. And so that's exactly what we're gonna to do today. The mission today is to fly out to St. Simons Island. We're headed out there, perfect airport for this. We're gonna to get to the airport. We're not even gonna ask for a courtesy car. We're gonna get on the scooter, head out to the beach, check it out and see what's going on in St. Simons. So come join me in the cockpit, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to the cockpit up here at uh, 8,500 feet today on our way to St. Simons Island. Just got flight following from Beaufort out here because we are flying through MOAs, so I don't like doing that without flight following or at least contacting approach. So we will be interrupted in today's video, but it is in the essence of safety, so that is worth it. Like I mentioned on the ground, today's mission is to fly out to St. Simons and test out this Hofsko Xander Max scooter. Uh, I've been riding around the airport all day today. And um, it's been really convenient. It's been super convenient, but I uh, wanted to take it on more of a fun mission, head out to St. Simons, go out to the beach, check it out. While we're on our way out there, we'll go over some of the specs of this scooter. So uh, first of all, max speed that's advertised is 19 miles an hour. Uh, it'll go about 30 miles on a charge and the scooter weighs 36 pounds. So um, when I rode it, I'm pretty light, I'm 150 pounds. I got it up to 21 miles an hour on flat ground. Um, so, you know, 19 miles an hour is probably right in the middle of that, so that's probably a good estimate. Of course, I think you could probably stretch out that 30 miles, maybe get a little bit more. I haven't tested that yet, but uh, the lighter you are, obviously, the better performance you're going to get. The scooter weighs 36 pounds, so easy to put in the back. You guys saw me loading it in the back of the uh, airplane here. Uh, it even, uh, it's light enough to lift over your head. It even gets a you can get a little pump before your flight if you needed to. It does have uh, disc brakes, they're mechanical, but they work pretty well. Definitely strong enough if you uh, pull it hard, it'll lock up the brakes, so brakes are great. It has regen braking as well. It's pretty cool, as you uh, engage the brakes, the regen system engages and the disc brakes, so you gotta kinda get used to that. If you just touch it a little bit, you'll get regen out of it. I don't know how much regen you get, but it does have regenerative braking. Uh, it does have 10 inch tires, which are pretty good size for this, uh, this price range of scooter. Obviously, they're rubber, they're air-filled, all that. It's got a 500-watt motor in there as well. Uh, it says on the package that you could do 220-pound rider maximum. Uh, a little bit of Google research, you'll find some people buying this scooter or using this scooter that way over that. So, again, 220 is what they recommend, but I know it can handle more than that. It is IPX5 waterproof. It's got a 36-volt, 374.4-watt-hour lithium-ion battery. Um, that takes six hours to charge whenever I'm using an electric vehicle. Um, I like to bring the charger and a backpack with me, so wherever I get to, whenever I get to where I'm going, I can charge it and extend that range a little bit, but 30 miles on a charge, uh, that's, that's pretty good. It does have uh, some cool features on it. It's got a nice LED display. Uh, shows you your battery life, it has an odometer on there, your speed. Uh, also, if your headlight is turned on or off, it's got a, a pretty decent headlight on there. It is automatic, it'll turn on automatically once it gets dark enough and it will also, uh, you can turn it on just with the switch on the display as well if you needed to. It also has cruise control, which is nice. You can kind of, you can set the speed and take your hand off if you're going for long cruises, really convenient. And it does have Bluetooth. Um, it's got a little, nice little app that comes with the uh, scooter. So you can go on the app, mess with the scooter, 
your battery life, things like that. It's a, it's definitely a budget friendly scooter. Uh, great quality, it's got good locking mechanisms on the front, super easy to set up. Uh, you just take it out, put the kickstand down, put the handle up, lock it in place, super easy to use. It comes out of the package just about ready to use. All I have to do is connect one plug and attach four screws, you're ready to go out of the box. I think right now the scooter is retailing for $449, which is a screaming deal. If you guys use my affiliate link in, my, in the video description, and use promo code TOMMYFLIES, you'll get an additional $50 off that price, which is unbelievable. That, that puts the scooter at $400. So just super budget-friendly scooter. Um, it's also small enough to fit in the back of this Mooney, which Mooney, as you guys know, are kind of tight. The baggage compartments uh, can be a little bit tight, but I was able to fit the scooter in here, no problem. But it's about the max size I think you could do uh, with this scooter, so you don't want to go any bigger than that, I don't think. All right, guys, that's it for the specs of the scooter. Uh, like I said, we're up here 8,500 on our way to St. Simons Island today. I'm really excited to get this thing out to the island and uh, scooter from my airplane to the beach. Uh, kind of amazing. Uh, once we get there, we'll land, park the plane, pull the scooter out, head out to the beach and see what's going on over there. In the meantime, I'm going to kill the cameras and we'll catch you guys back on the ground. Peace. I can't get any closer than that. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. The Hobbs go behind me here. Xander Max. Um, honestly, it's a ton of fun. That thing is super easy to ride. Uh, we still have full battery. We rode all the way from the airport to here. I don't know how many miles it was. Probably two, three miles. Um, I hit 22 miles an hour more than a couple times on that ride. So again, I'm 150 pounds. So at my weight, you're going to get more than the advertised 19. Probably get a little bit more uh, distance out of it too if you uh, don't push it too hard. But awesome little scooter. Perfect fit the back of the airplane. Um, super easy just to take out, unfold, and head out. Definitely going to be convenient for me. Now I can take uh, this along with my one wheel. I can ride the one wheel. My wife can ride the scooter. It's going to be perfect. So really looking forward to that. All right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. I'm going to get back on the scooter, ride around a little bit, and then head back to the airport. Uh, don't forget, if you guys want to save $50 on this scooter, there's an affiliate link in my uh, video description here. Use promo code TOMMYFLIES. It'll save an extra 50 bucks if you guys are interested in this scooter. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to, all that jazz. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.